All right, well, uh, hello, uh, sixth graders. We are continuing on here in chapter 10, and we are kind of getting very, very close to the end of our big ideas curriculum. We'll see what uh, may be able to be in store after this, but um, we're looking here, and this talks about choosing appropriate measures. Choose the most appropriate measures to describe the center and the variation, all right? And so when we talk about describing the center and the variation, we want to remember, first of all, when we talk about the shape. When we're talking about a symmetric shape, we're going to use the measure of several central tendency, the mean, to describe the center. And we're going to use the mean absolute deviation, or the MAD, M-A-D, to describe the variation. If it's a skewed shape, more like this, okay, where it plateaus and then kind of just decreases, we're going to use the median to describe the center, and we're going to use the interquartile range, or the IQR, to describe the range. So, not going to be a long video, but let's look at a few of these examples here. So, when I look at this one, I see that it's kind of skewed, uh, to the right there, and so I'm going to call that that it uses the median to describe the center and uses the variation of the interquartile range. When I look at number 10, that is definitely a symmetric shape as it plateaus here, okay? So I would say that it, the mean would be the measure that would describe the center, and I would use the variation, the mean absolute deviation to describe the variation, all right? Now, if I'm looking at this graph here, now I want you to ignore these directions because these are not, this is just describing the shape, but I'm using these same directions uh, for what you're going to do today in 10.4, these same graphs. Uh, so here's 10 here. We're definitely skewed, all right? As you can see, it goes up much higher here on the left and then just kind of comes down. It's not a symmetric shape. So I would use the median to describe the center, and I would use the interquartile range to describe the variation. When I go to number 11, that is also skewed. So once again, I would use the median to describe the center, and I would use the interquartile range, the IQR, to describe the variation. All right, talk to you later. Bye.